that's where Panther spent the night. He didn't give me any trouble whatsoever. He didn't make a peep the entire night. I'm going to release him first and then I'm going to go get Gray. Gray's liable to run off to the hills and not come back for 24 hours, which wouldn't be good because it's still 14 out there. She's upset. Gray, don't stay gone too long. There's nice food and fresh water up here and... Panther's not upset. He uh, is probably just looking for a place to use the bathroom. Hi, honey. Yeah, Gray was in the kitchen, moved to the green room. Morris was in Johnny's bathroom. Panther was by the front door. Stripe's out there eating. I put him out there so you'd be ready, okay? Don't be too upset. I know he's going to run for the hill. Go find Stripe, okay? And don't be too... Don't be too, um, I'm trying to remember how this one works. This one's a pin. It's kind of weird. All right, you go. Go get Stripe. There's Stripe, and there's fresh food and fresh water. I'm not after you. Just go see Stripe like nothing's wrong. There you go. Your world didn't come to an end. He probably won't let me. Took, last time I took him to the vet, it took me like three months to uh, be able to rub on him again. It is what it is. Well, so far, nobody's left me any messes to clean up. That's appreciated, but a little unexpected. I mean, those crates are too small for a litter box. Nothing to be done about that for short term. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. All right, let's get you guys out of there. I sure do love you. Wow, Dusty's hungry too. Hey, well, it's good to know you haven't gone too far. Morris let me pat his head. He did. Tux is not sure what he wants to be doing. He's probably looking, got to go into the bathroom. Nobody left me a mess. I'm so pleased. Stripe's just on the log. I gotta get water for Dusty. Come on, Mr. Man. You're looking for Stripe. He took off. I wanted to bring him in the house for a few minutes. He does not like mornings and he does not like cold. Tux, on the other hand, thinks this is a wonderland of play. When we have snow, Tux always frolics in it. I'm sure that's no surprise to anybody. Are you all frisky this morning because it's cool? So you're not bothering me, Mom. Hi. Hello. <laughs> he's so cute. Yeah, he's been running around like he's just the happy boy. And Morris and Marty are eating, but I really wanted to know where Stripe went. I called for him. He disappeared while I was in the garage with Dusty. I'm not calling you. Calling Stripe. You weren't supposed to follow me. Sharpening those claws, huh? Come on, Tux. Let's go. I didn't put a hat on. It's cold enough out here. I need a hat. <laughs> Come on, bud. I'm filming him just in case he decided to climb the tree. But apparently not right this minute. Come on. Come on, bud. So I'm not in trouble about my cat heating pads? Uh, no, no, well, that's right, so... <laughs> I won't let him count how many are plugged in. Well, I, I have a whole house energy monitor, and I wanted to find out about it this morning, uh, what the grid was doing, because I actually saw the lights flicker a little bit uh, this morning, um, and but we're fine. The grid was at 243 volts, so the energy monitor... We're not going to have a brownout. Right. It, I, I would have I would have guessed uh, that it was something well under... 240 like we've seen it down to like 229 before I mean when the grids on a really cold morning, but I think since it's Saturday uh, And obviously it's Christmas Eve. There's a ton of businesses that are closed and so they're not using anything So if this would have been you know a Wednesday morning uh, or something like that uh, It would have been different anyway long story short We got our uh, power bill and it happened to be going through all this stuff and I we got our Duke energy bill this is what Don does to relax on Saturday mornings. Yes, that's right. Um, <laughs> and um, I'm, I'm impressed. Uh, last year in December of uh, uh, 21, we used 2,326 kilowatt hours. 
and in this month we used 2322 kilowatt hours so plus plus four kilowatt hours wow yeah, that yeah, is really yeah. yeah not who knows if that's as close as we think it is like i don't remember last year in december was i driving a loner for a few days or did you know anything change up with the school routine or yeah well we're yeah a little misconsistent here right well i'm glad to know they haven't noticed to step up in a couple of additional heating pads oh, that, i'm sure that'll be next month so how many watts are they oh they're they're nothing they're uh, probably 10. okay i, I should put one of them on so it's the like computer. running uh all of them together is like running 100 watt incandescent bulb non-stop i'm sure that's probably about right okay yeah so nothing you would be too upset about but that's good to know yeah i agree <laughs> I let Don have cinnamon buns one day a year, and he said today versus tomorrow, so I'm putting them in the oven. He is excited. <laughs> These are good. You ready to go back out, Marty? He was in Johnny's lap for a few minutes. Marty, Tux, and Stripe are easy to bring in for a little bit and then let go back outside to warm them up, and, you know, I'm just keeping an eye on everybody today. Hey, Mart. Mart looked like he didn't care too much. Tux was running around like he'd have thought we'd have had snow and he was a happy boy, but no snow. Yeah, Tux is back up top. Hey, bud. Hey, Mart. It's nice and sunny over here. You'd probably really like it. Could just lie down on the kitchen floor for a bit. Yeah, there's food. You're welcome to eat a little food. But if you don't settle, I'll let you go back outside. I did get the cats a chicken yesterday. Can't have kitties on Christmas with no chicken. <laughs> so, yeah. There we go. Yeah, I'm not going to be getting any complaints about those. And uh, the chicken is it's well on its way. So here she is. Yeah, I opened it and then I sent him for the camera. Yeah. Do you so, guys know what it is? Yeah. Can you... I thought it had to do with cheesecakes because it has the dimple, like the spring form pan dimples on it. Yeah. And um, I guess, I thought it would be kind of weird you would build your cheesecake in a silicone thing. Yeah. But Donnie says it's for the water bath so I don't have to wrap with six sheets of aluminum foil and pray that the um, bottom doesn't get soggy. You just set the pan in this. That's correct. And then set this in the water bath. And yeah, then perfect. if you haven't done the cheesecake with water bath, you got to do that. You're supposed to do them with Boil a water bath. Boil the water, get you a big pan. Set the cheesecake in it, pour the water next to the cheesecake, read up on it. It's really, it really does do a good job. I re highly recommend the water bath yeah. on the cheesecake. This is highly rated on Amazon. Um, the Also, one more thing I was going to say is um, uh, she's going to be making a cheesecake here today. Look, today. Yeah. So I didn't want to make a whole year to wait. So I, I gave her this one early. Well, he usually gets one at Thanksgiving. But yes, yeah. I, and I, and well, I, that's the one that Michelle made me think. Michelle doesn't know, but one of her presents is me making her a cheesecake here. I've got, oh, see? I have there we go. ordered cream cheese out in the garage refrigerator because yeah. it lasts like three months. So you can yeah. buy 20 packs and just shove it in there. Yeah. Um, so no more soggy cheesecake no. bottoms. Well, it only happened once though, but still that one time was pretty bad. We were yeah, not happy. Not it was not a good thing. Yeah. Thank you, Donnie. You're welcome. Merry then Christmas. attempt to catch my cue doing its thing. I'm going to be outside the car today. Right. And I'm going to roll the window down so you can hear or see. Yeah, it's not lost on us. We could go watch somebody else's video, but it's like it ought to be easy enough for two software engineers to figure out without having to uh, do that. Wouldn't you think? Okay, so it's got the MyQ thing up. It shows the Y door is closed. And uh, it, it has a, an open button. And it does have home link. Okay. Here. I see. Yep. And so I'm, I'm putting this in. I'm putting my seatbelt in. I hit the brake. I'm typing in the password. Okay. I typed in the password. Lights came on. Lights came on. I'm waiting. I put it in reverse. Hey, I'm in the garage. It's in reverse. I'm leaving. I guess it isn't going to open. I agree. I think we've waited plenty for it to send the signal. All right, so I'm gonna click open. All right, I just clicked open. It's, it's doing 
doing its uh, throbbing thing. Right, I see it says it's sending the signal, like you could always see. With... That's slow. Home link is much faster. Hate to let all the heat out of the garage, but I guess we're waiting to see if it's going to do its thing or not. Right. I saw the black kitty at the bottom of the hill, so do be watching as you go down the hill. I, I don't know what it's going to do. It said saved over here. It did something. There's a cat Tux. there. Yeah, all right. He came back up. That's good. Yeah. I don't want Tux down there. I'm waiting for it to. Close the door. Now, about here yesterday, it disappeared. Right, and this is about where Home Lake would go away, too. This yeah. is about as far as it knows about the doors. Right. The door is not down. It's not coming okay, down. this went away. And the door is not moving. Is not The door is still wide open. Okay. Well, so, I we'll have turn... to go back up the driveway or, or use your phone to yeah. close it. All right, so I'm just going to stop here. Yeah. Can you see the door? Is it up or down? I, uh, I can't see. You'll have to look over your shoulder. Anyway, we're going to manually close okay. it. So you went into the MyQ app and you're closing the door. Yeah, it said it was still open. I, I didn't actually try to see if it was Right, open. well, I saw 10 feet before where we're parked. But as we saw under locks and down at the bottom where all this MyQ stuff is, and we go into settings... And wide door. We have it auto close when leaving and auto open when arriving. And best as we can tell, it's not doing any of those. Yeah, and, and let's put it this way: it's not working the the intuitive human way I would want it to work. Like you know, when I put my the garage door is closed, I'm in the garage. I put it in reverse. I would have already expected it to tell. Oh, you want to back out of the garage? I guess I'm. I'm not seeing the advantage. Right. As soon as you put in the pin to drive, or as soon as you put the car into reverse, or you know, it knows you're at home and you've entered the car. I don't know. I, I think as soon as you put it in reverse, the car ought to send a signal. Right. And I'm assuming that down the road. The rear backup camera is going to learn what the garage doors open or learn what it looks like when it's closed. In other words, it's going to, surely if it can recognize a flying boat, <laughs> autopilot should be able to recognize the garage door is open or closed. Maybe we have to put a big sticker that says closed. Or, or right, I'm sure X. the I'm sure the camera should be able to figure it out. Yeah, well, the flying on. boat goes back to one of those AI days where the autopilot guy was talking about the learning stuff. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. knows about flying, flying boats. boats. <laughs> we needed to know about garage doors. Yeah, let's just do. Seems something. like that would be easy. Yeah, and rather important to get right. Yeah. Yep, we're here at South Park and Jules is. Uh, getting warm for us while we walk the track we decided when we decided to have the uh, cinnamon rolls we also decided we would come up here and walk until right because we raised our blood sugar especially some of us that had two of them and a lot of extra sugar <laughs> on top <laughs> Um, I'm a sugar addict. I, I admit it. There's, I'm addicted to sugar. Well, I like sugar just fine too, but I stopped at one and I put half of the sugar on top of my one that you and Johnny had on yours. So anyway, we decided we would, uh, the whole plan was to eat and then walk to burn up some of the sugar. So we're out here. I know we sound like we're diabetic and really worried, but we're not. We're just trying to stay healthy. We don't like to spike over 150. We could easily be pre-diabetic, moving in the wrong direction if we let our guard down, and we don't intend to do that. So, and the nice thing about me and Don is we have each other. So, I allow him to have an occasional treat, but I don't let him make any slides in the wrong direction. Right? That's right. Yeah. So we got pork chops for dinner tonight because we're having nice prime rib tomorrow. You have a win. Yeah, we're very sad to report that our friend Joe yesterday had a dead tree limb come down on that beautiful Christmas tree that was in the video the other night and it damaged the tree and 
Yeah, I'm in the Rogers family house with the oh, oh. <laughs> and the massive amounts of dancing lights at Rogers family Christmas. Uh, they had quite a bit of damage. The star came off the tree and some of the reindeer came off the house and Joe said he made repairs to the reindeer yesterday and we're worried about Holt Road. It's a lot more, you know, a lot of stuff there that could have gotten messed up. Oh wow, is that somebody's jacket? It sure is. Um, so those, those strong winds, I think when we watched Greg Fitzgerald yesterday afternoon, he said that uh, the highest gust reported was in the 60 mile an hour range. 65, yeah. So that was, uh, that was pretty serious. It was pretty serious. I know yesterday a few times I cringed. The wind was so strong. So all the cats seem to be doing well this morning. Um, Morris and Stripe are up the hill. They go up there because they like to do their daily walkabout of their territory. And it's also very sunny up there. And um, Tux and Marty are doing their normal close to the cows. And Panther and Gray have settled into their chairs with heating pads on the front porch. I'm keeping an eye on everybody. I'll try to bring Stripe in some this afternoon and warm him up if he comes back down near the house. Uh, you know, I'm just keeping a close eye on him. Tux acted like he was pleased as punch about the weather. He likes it cold. And him and Marty also did excellent in the garage last night, so I don't think I'll hesitate to try to create them again. I don't know that we're going to walk our full walk. We'll see how cold I get. <laughs> I told Don we were parking up here because uh, it's sunnier and because we have a quick bailout when I decide I've had enough. I've had enough. <laughs> well, it's 22 and it feels like 10. It's not a strong breeze today, maybe 5 mile an hour. Augusta 10. You can see it a little bit. It's not like yesterday though. Yesterday, literally the one time I got out of the car or got into the car, the door slammed on my foot. That was Jules. It wasn't because it was the wind. It was totally the wind. I have to say I'm actually glad we were out in Jules yesterday and not Ruby because winds at that intensity are not good for the automatic doors it would have been better to have turned them off for that one day it'll grab them it, it was it was scary yesterday this is our fourth time around the wind has gusted a few times more than we were happy about for sure we're hanging in there still debating exactly how much more we're going to do but i told don at minimum one more time I don't know, I'm starting to get warmer now. I mean, we're starting to have walked enough that the fact that we're exercising is kicking in. My right hand's cold. I have a walker behind us and a jogger in front of us. Uh, 57 minutes, 13 seconds. 57 minutes. 2.44 miles. 23.25 per mile. No trash today, just a few tree just, limbs. Yeah, that's all I can tell you. I had to. Okay, well, that's pretty much what I wanted to know. Nearly an hour and nearly our normal walk amount. Yeah, yeah. We're that's like cold. two tenths of a mile short. We'll call her good because. <laughs> it's cold. That was something. My fingers are cold. My cheeks are cold. Yeah, you need a ski mask tomorrow. Yeah. Or Monday well. or. My, she didn't let us off one a little bit. No sorry, my girl. She's. Oh, well, we, we could go off. We'll just do a few laps. He knows me better than that. I ain't never cut yeah, short in my yeah, life. I could be crawling to the finish line and I'd still be going. That's right. <laughs> sorry to make it hard on the rest of you people, but. Man, I tell you. Oh. oh well. I feel better for walking. I, I really yeah. feel a nice brisk walk. I, I feel better for walking. I'm yeah. glad we didn't miss a third day. Yeah, that's right. And we may miss tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is an iffy day. It's an iffy day. Our... So we got it. Got her in today. Got Not her enough. in today. That's right. We uh, rolled down the window to wish someone in the parking lot a Merry Christmas. And it started a 30-minute excellent conversation about do we like our Tesla. Yeah. 
yeah. by someone considering getting one and I would say we Don and I may have sold another Tesla today <laughs> yeah they were here visiting family they were from Kansas and they were here visiting family they were surprised at how many Teslas they see yeah. we explained Wake County is a little bit of a Mecca versus some other parts in the state but yeah uh, he knew enough to have excellent questions yes he did and all we right. were honest and forthright while sharing our love of the car all at yeah. the same time. Yeah. All right. Is it going to pop up? Here. Right, there's the pop up. Now, is it going to open the door? Right. The pop up on the screen occurred. Yeah. There's oh. the chime and it's sending the signal. Oh, there it went. Hot so coming dog. back home, that was pretty, that was that perfect. Was, that, was that, that was great. So yesterday probably was a combination of either the do door was screwing up or we didn't program it right to start with. Right. Now if we can figure out how to get, uh, when it, what triggers it to open on the way out, I guess we're going to have to research it. Now, also, how come it doesn't let the door down automatically? Right. Well, we have not had the door go down in a timely fashion. I would like the door to go down. Oh. Yeah. It ran. We can usually count on the noise of the door scaring the cats away from it. So that's why I didn't rush out of the car. Come here, cute stuff. Our spot's in the sun right now. Hi. And my cushion was in the garage. So it's my, my tush is warm. We're good. You got me for a few minutes. So there she is, the Christmas girl. You have another present for another, me? Another I'm present. liking this a present every two hours. Can we keep That's it? Right. Can we Let's keep it up? Going, Can we keep huh? it up? Let's see. The pure joy of baking healthy. Something mm. that's stainless steel and could even go that's in my right. pressure cooker. That's okay. right. Okay. Oh, mm. okay. It says it's a stainless steel spring. Have you been in my box? No, I didn't I mean to. Must have it no, out. I, I no. don't. No. Oh, way cool. Yeah. So now so this goes with that. This. So hopefully it fits inside. Whew. Thank God. It does. It fits perfect. That's well, what's I'm really gonna like that. The tin foil was a lot of tin foil. Took several minutes and. Um, yeah, so so what size is this one? Like eight inches? Nine I know I need the standard spring form size. <laughs> I'm just curious. Nine inch. Nine inch. That's good. Is that good? Yeah, it's probably the biggest standard size they make. Right. And well, we got into trouble with one. Well, this is supposed to be bigger than a than than no, the spring form. It it sure. it's designed. Oh, yeah, right. You don't want it too. No reason. There would be no value add to it being more snug. So I get to use the new pan to make the cheesecake. That's what it's all about. Yay! So you can make the cheesecake anytime you want now. Okay. We're Thank good. Thank you, Donnie. That's no that's, more early Christmas. That's the last early Christmas present. <laughs> well, you had three: the coffee, the spring form pan, and the in the right, thing. I had. I I have been through my whole thing of coffee, the little Christmas tree. And then when Johnny and I shopped Target, we bought ourselves another one. But she has said that mine was better. His, yeah, his had those really good engineered fake flavors, like, and they were to like die, die for. for. <laughs> this is kind of like the healthy. Some of these are yeah. even organic. Ah. They're yummy, but they're not as yummy as the <laughs> fake flavors in the ones Don got. Which is why we'll be doing that once a year. I yeah, told right. Don next year buy two. Me <laughs> and Johnny, we each need one. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I just replaced both water bowls. They were totally frozen solid and both kitties were looking for water. I definitely want them to tank up now since if I create them overnight, obviously they're not drinking during the middle of the night. So tank up now and we'll be good. You guys will remember it's Don's job at Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's not to let me get, get burnt burned. because yeah. I have a really bad knack yeah. of doing that. It's just we don't need her to be, we need the cook to be cooking. Not right, burning. so we've got our silicone around the outside instead of, um, aluminum foil. instead of aluminum foil. I don't, not showing, but I have parchment paper under the graham cracker crust. I didn't forget the crust this time. Don is now pouring uh, boiling water. It boiled just a few minutes ago. You can see the steam for the water bath. I think that's plenty. 
and it's 450 for 10 minutes and then 300 for 50 more minutes or something like that this particular recipe happy to share but um you know cheesecake's pretty much cheesecake but i told don if he'd come help me he could lick the bowl yeah baby <laughs> hi he wants to go back out i'm making him stay for a few more minutes how's it looking donnie i think it I, I think it not wiggling and just a smidge of brown yeah i think it's done way cool and look at there there's no water inside, inside the, the silicone. silicone thing way cool yeah no water whatsoever nope way cool so i'm waiting for the arches i need to come i just decided these brown in place of the dark tan is not cutting it and um, I remembered I had the barn, so I'm going to put the barn together. I got about an, I can probably afford an hour before I need to cook. And this was on my list of fun things to do on Christmas Eve. Well, it is super cute. Here's the toy conveyor belt. Santa's supervising and the elf is working on more toys. I like it. The doors do actually slide. They're on a track. It's pretty cool. I enjoyed the build.